We welcome you to the Vallejo Diet Church this morning. We're delighted you could be with us to share this time of worship. We're going to welcome uh, Mark Hussey to the organ this morning. Appreciate him uh, filling in for us uh, today and next week. You'll be able to hear him again when he's here. I'd like to have you take a look at the bulletin. This afternoon at 3.30 is the memorial service for Irma Torres here in the chapel. Tomorrow, the ladies' tea in, in the fellowship hall. And uh, we want to thank the Kelly and Marina for the special job they did with the kids as well. There are a number of announcements to take note of. Uh, on Friday evening, Praxis is going to be meeting upstairs in the fellowship hall next Friday evening. I'd like to, at this time, invite to the pulpit Lad Thomas, John St. Marie, and Liz Rembold. By the way, we're honoring Liz today for her 29 years of being the organist here at the Loyal Drive Church. She's the longest tenured employee that we have had at our church. And after the service today, we have a very special little uh, meal. In fact, it's probably a pretty big meal. <laughs> I took a look at it. You, that's a wonderful goodies to share uh, after the service, and so we'll be able to uh, uh, fellowship and, and give you a chance to talk with Liz. But as Liz began her uh, ministry uh, playing in churches uh, 20, excuse me, 58 years ago, and during the 29 years she's been here at the Vallejo Drive Church, she has played for over 1,150 worship services. Uh, 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 accompanied 2,300 congression, uh, congregational hymns, 2,300 choir anthems, 3,400 organ solos, in addition to the 29 Christmas programs. <laughs> it's going to take a while to get used to someone else, isn't it? <laughs> well, she's invested long hours in preparation. I think most of you have no idea the amount of hours it, it took each week for Liz to prepare. Uh, I think uh, probably anywhere from 12 to 20 hours a week of preparing to play for us, including getting up at 3.45 on Sabbath morning to drive from Simi to be here over the last number of years uh, to provide, to be able to practice at 7 a.m. in the morning. So today we want to say thank you for your service to us, for inspiring us and lifting us up with your music and blessing us. I want to start with Lad, if I may, Liz, oh, sure. okay? I want to introduce to you Lad Thomas. Uh, Lad Thomas is the, uh, uh, actually, the, uh, he is the uh, chair of the organ department at USC, her professor. But many of you, a few of you, I should say, know him because for 10 years, he shared the organ bench with Liz every other week. His lovely wife, Cherry Rose, is with us. These two individuals have both been in our, uh, honored internationally with Lifetime Achievement Awards for the Organist Guild. And for him, who is, uh, who is the organist for 58 years at our sister church here in town, our, our fellow Methodist church here in town, guess who we had for his backup organist over 30 years? Liz Rimbold. Now that says something about the quality in, of her music and the respect that they have for it. Lad, share a few words with us. Thank you, Mark. It's wonderful to be back here with so many of you and to be here today, Liz, to honor you for the terrific ministry and work that you have had, not only in this place, but throughout so much of the country. And you have really served so beautifully and so well and so meaningfully to so many people. One of the things that struck me here during our 10 years was the email address of this church, graceunconditional.com. I truly learned the meaning of unconditional love when I was privileged for 10 years to be in this place with all of you and together we were in ministry together. And Liz, I wanna thank you so much 
for the invitation to come here and work with all of you. That was when Liz and Darwin, you know, Darwin was always going somewhere, and they moved up to Hanford, and Liz said, I just can't drive that every week. Would you help me for a couple of months? And two months stayed in the 10 wonderful years. And you know, this idea of unconditional love, central to our theology, isn't it? And it was central, and it is central, to Liz's life, because that is how she has ministered to all of us. Liz, you've done this with a beautiful, unconditional love. And I saw this very clearly when we first met, and I had the privilege of offering some suggestions as a teacher of organ for this beautiful lady. And she came with a love of music that was contagious. I was bitten at that point. And it was absolutely contagious and beautiful. And she was diligent. She worked hard. She was determined. She was devoted. She gave of herself. And I always thought, Liz, you're going to have a beautiful ministry with this music because you love it so much. And that love is unconditionally given. And you just were always just there with the love of and seeking to fully understand what the composer was saying to us, what they were wanting us to understand, what they were wanting us to give. And it was about the music. It was not about yourself. And that is the most beautiful thing, isn't it? When we pour ourselves into this beautiful gift that has been given to us by composers. And a second thing that stands to me so much about Liz is her willingness to get in there for what she believes. She never hesitated, and she always came with absolute conviction. She studied, understood, and then she came with conviction. And this marvelous organ that you have in this church that can sound so beautifully with these wonderful floor surfaces and the other things acoustically. As you sing together, as you do liturgy together, you hear each other. You are a community through this. And Liz was a major player with her convictions and knowledge about how to make this place so it was a beautiful space for everything that occurs in here. Liz, a tremendous, word of appreciation and gratitude for you, for your fearless, untiring leadership. And then we would say one other thing. There's so many I could say, but this after all is a service. Um, Liz, it's your true friendship. You are a loyal person. You are a giving person. You are a friend. You are a colleague. You always were, to me, a wonderful colleague. This idea of student and teacher that quickly, quickly, quickly evaporated. And I said, we have here, I have here, a wonderful colleague for life. And this is the way our wonderful relationship manifests itself here, working together those 10 years. It was absolutely fantastic. And there was a time that I decided it was interesting to visit a surgeon, and I needed six months off over at Methodist Church. And this was sort of like a week before Christmas. And my wife called Liz and told her what was going on. Without a hesitation, Liz jumped in. She took over, and I was totally at peace about how things were going to be. And for six months, she took care of everything that needed taking care of. So she was here with you on Saturdays, and she was with the Methodists on Sundays. A very devoted and long weekend. And Liz, I will always appreciate so deeply what you've done. And other times when we've been gone, Liz is there. And it's just not going to be the same anymore being gone. But I just wish you much love and 
gratitude and appreciation and know that you have some wonderful days of excitement here with this choir and being in this beautiful congregation with these people. I love you dearly and with deepest gratitude, thank you. One of the works of the organist is to accompany the choir, and John St. Marie will share some thoughts on that. I came about five and a half years ago to sub for Brenda Moore, who was here at the time, and I didn't know that she was leaving. Um, and this is the first time I met Liz Rumble. And she was so enthusiastic and so such a beautiful, warm heart from the very beginning. And when I finished the rehearsal, she came up to me and just was so enthusiastic and so excited about um, what she thought I brought out in the music. And I was so impressed by her and by her playing. It was a really an amazing uh, morning. And I was so fortunate to be able to be called here and to worship with you every week. Um, when I started my first Sabbath, you know, we always have the choirs uh, retreat where we start to prepare the Christmas music. So Liz and I had worked for a while to choose the music. And in my first uh, rehearsal, I put something in front of her that was in all multimeters, and it was really tough to play. And I had, I had performed it before with other people. And they all had trouble with the same page every time. And no matter how f hard we worked at it, uh, it never seemed to line up very well. And a testament to Liz, the very first time we went through it, it was perfect. It was, and, and I, I've never experienced that again, except for in the concert that year. Um, she just brings such a dedication and professionality to what she does every week. She takes it so seriously, and it's so meaningful to her. She puts in, as, as Mark said, so many hours of practice, and she chooses each piece with such thoughtful devotion because she wants to make um, services here a worshipful space. And she's done this for 29 years. She has been, excuse me, a wonderful collaborator. Someone who has inspired me. And I just thank you for all you've given us here at, at Vallejo for all these years. Amen. That's all I can say. morning. I was never nervous when I played the organ for you. However, I am not a great public speaker, so I will read my thoughts. I want to thank everyone involved in this lovely retirement recognition. I also want to thank the congregation for all of your support to the music department and me over the past 29 years. I could not have played for you for 29 years without your support, the support of the pastoral staff, the choir directors, and finally the choir. I have enjoyed every Sabbath and special program. I never minded commuting long distances. For over 10 years, I drove from Hanford, California, just south of Fresno. For seven years, I drove from Santa Maria, just south of San Luis Obispo. And for the past 12 years, I commuted from Simi Valley. I will desperately miss playing the organ, but I look forward to singing in the choir. Vin Scully, famed Dodger announcer, on his last broadcast after 67 years stated, don't be sad that it is over, be glad that it happened. I'm very glad that the last 29 years happened.
we have this plaque that we will give Liz to hang on her wall at home. I'll read it to you. Award of Excellence, presented by the Vallejo Drive Church of Seventh-day Adventist to Elizabeth Rambolt for 29 years of enhancing our worship experience with outstanding musical presentation. You have blessed us with inspiring organ and piano accompaniment, uplifting preludes and rousing postludes that revitalize our spirits. We thank you for the long hours of preparation, your regular weekly faithfulness, and the excellent musical contributions that you have played for our church family. Thank you. There's another little gift that we oh. hope that you can do something nice with. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Slip this you. back in. That's beautiful. Okay. You want to keep it here or you want to take it with you? No, I have a wall in my music room. Okay. Yeah, thank right. you. Oh, okay. They want to get a picture here. Oh. Thank you. Okay, the children's choir will bless us with some music now. <laughs> 